Alright, so this is part two of my thermoelectric uh, Peltier water chiller for my 100 watt CO2 laser. So a few things have changed from the part one video. Uh, first of all, the biggest difference is of course the separate water cooling loop for the hot side of the chip. This is of course to be able to adequately dissipate the heat and keep efficiency at its maximum. Originally, I mean, originally I was using this. I was obviously turning on the fan, but it's very loud, so I turned it off for the video. But it was made very apparent from the beginning that this was simply not adequate enough, just from the contact area alone, to use with the chip. So I was going to use this much, much nicer CPU heatsink I had laying around. This is actually almost a perfect fit for my 40 millimeter chip, but I decided to go ahead and build out this separate water cooling loop instead. And this is very effective. I can actually touch the uh, hot cold plate and it is cool to the touch. So this is telling me uh, very crudely that it is adequately cooling it. And as you can see, that's ambient 65.4 and our water temperatures right now are 50. So that's a delta T of over 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, this has been running for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna have to do the math and see just how much energy is being used to cool the water. Uh, I also added a power meter and we're at 182 watts at 12 volts. So assuming some inefficiency and also each pump taking about 15 watts, let's say, uh, the chip doesn't seem to be pulling 15 amps of power. I'm going to have to look at the data sheet as well as read up on my supplier to see if they're just selling underrated, overrated chips or what the deal is. Uh, next step would be, of course, to see if I want to use multiple chips and upgrade my water cooling loop to adequate, ad adequately cool those multiple chips. I also want to try to monitor the temperature of that hot water block or at the very least monitor the water temperature levels of the water cooling loop. Um, and of course, I'm gonna turn this off as soon as I finish recording this video because this is a quite scary configuration. For example, this wire is actually getting warm to the touch. It's just an 18 gauge and this looks like a, this looks like a 14 gauge wire. So that's definitely not right. And um, yeah, I'm happy that this is performing as I expected. I, I'm going to be honest, when I put this together, I did not expect this to do a proper job, maybe for like a 60 watt chip. And even then I would have to probably would have put like a copper 40 millimeter block over this to properly dissipate the heat or transfer the heat. But um, looking forward to buying the parts and finalizing the design of this. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.